Global is a program actually. So um, we call it our program is called global program. In another word, we call it is a global method. So actually, global is a one of the uh, we call it is art, the children art arrangement center. So we providing the all the courses, uh, especially for the young children. So our target age is from the three years old to eighteen years old. Yeah. So we have the so many of the art activity, but especially is the art. So we have the core program we call it is like visual art, and then we do have the acrylic painting. We do have the craft work, and then we have the art cultural program, cartoon and comic. Started teaching art in nineteen ninety five during my college time. Okay, but you know the time is uh, we call it is a traditional art. Traditional is uh, mean that we haven't established our global art program yet. So I, as, as usual, I'm an art teacher. I go to the music school, to teaching art. So that is a part-time job during my college time. Okay. So after my graduate on 1996, so I still keep continuing my part-time job as a like, art teacher. But at the same time, I have a final full-time job. So I'm, uh, I'm studying in the graphic design. I'm studying in graphic design. So from that, after a year working, so 1997, I opened my first center. So after opening first center, of course, based on my two year experience, or experience, so I start my own center. So the way I start have my own system, we call it as own system. I have my own system. So of course, within the two year, I do have the some research of the, I think as an art teacher, the most challenge is after a year or after two years, if, if you have the many students, so you don't know what is the next to teach a student. So like example, like for the traditional art. Traditional art means that today you come, I give you draw this one. Tomorrow you come, I give you draw another one. But the end we find out it's not fair for the student. So you have to set up the system, mean that from uh, the focus in their age, like different age is different ability. So I starting to uh, do the, some research. So what age, let's say seven years old, so have to start from which uh, object, I start special for the food. So in 1997, when I first opened my first center, so after a year, of course, the business is good. I have a hundred over, 150 students. And a hundred over students on, on during the time is unnormal because, you know, in 1997, if you talking about your teaching art, because art is not popular subject for the, all the parents. It's not important for them. But it's a more than 100 students is un, un normal what, we, what we're saying. So by the time, most of the parents, because they come to my center because of the Mr. Go. So I like you teach my children. So of course, the time I'm hiring a teacher. So I'm hiring a teacher. So, um, but most of the parents, they last one one other teacher to teach. They want just one Mr. Go to teach. But it's impossible because I cannot handle more than 100 students. So from that time, it's how to inspire me to start to do the uh, okay. The from that I inspired me to design a program because the ideas come from the parent request. I want to let all the parents know um, based on uh, my center, whatever today you come to my center, it's not Mr. Girl teach. Other teachers teach the same thing. I want to let all parents know in my center, all the teachers are the same. The teaching technique is the same. So from that, I start to want to train my teacher. I want to train all my teachers to teach like me. So, but you want to training for your teacher, the first thing, you must have set up the system and the program. You must have the program because you do not have the program or the system, how to go, go to teach, uh, train your teacher. Yeah, that is the, I start to do the research. That's why I do the research in my center. I start to do the system. So based on my the past experience, I try to put it in all system way and page by page and design the program. So after I think six months maybe, yeah, yeah, several time when I developed some program, I start to try in my center. So I train all my teacher. So all they use the same book. That's why today we see our global we have our books. Yeah. And every student when they come to our center, every center have their own book, own program. So all the teachers use a book to teach. It's not use a personal me experience to teach. Yeah, so we are focused in the program, in the system. So, 1999, 
After we are testing, testing in my center, 1999, we are sent out go to printing ready. We start to go to printing and become the, we call it a program complete with six level. So that's why in our history, actually we put it in the 1999, because the year 1999, we registered the programming is the global art, it's a programming and the company as well. So we put in our history is in 1999. Mean that year 1999 is a, the first complete uh, system, mean that program was established. I think for all the entrepreneur from the beginning, the one of the challenge is the funding. Yeah, funding, like example, when I start my first center, I don't have, I don't have money. So uh, <laughs> the first center, the funding is a borrowed for my friend and family. Actually, I start for my friend. That is an interesting thing. Eh? My first center, funny thing I tell you, is a two row of the shop lock. Nobody will rent. It's a it's a it's a dead corner. We call it a dead corner. It's nobody go inside. But because I rent the place, it's a cheap. It's four hundred ringgit first floor. But you know the time young, don't know. Simple because this considered cheap. When I rent this room, I only noticed that the whole row is nobody go to rent, just me land. Why? Because not water supply. <laughs> there is a funny after I, I just find out hey, uh, the shop is no water supply, so it's a tough for me also. So I sell my center in the midnight, also 11 o'clock after I teaching art. So I go to wash the shop, you know, put in the candle. Yeah, it's not electric, so I asked my friend in 2000. But at the time, because after I teaching uh, two or three years at a part time, so after working in a company, graphic designer a year, so I have to do the. Because you know, my life is very tough uh, during that time. And daytime is uh, working in graphic designer, and after finish the working, then I go to the teaching until 10 o'clock every day, weekday. And Saturday, Sunday, also full day to teaching. So that is a very tough life. Uh, but I still I doesn't want to give up my this teaching career. Uh, so because I, I have the patient, I like I like the, this career. So after a year, so I had to do the decision. Either you want to keep continue the life, or you want to give up some, or you just full time do the graphic design, or you full time to do the teaching. Uh, that's why I give up my full time job. So I decided to open my own center. So but during the time I lacking of the fund. So I'm come from Bangkok Island. So I'm we are not rich family. But, and also at the same time, I also worry my mother, worry me because <laughs> so I doesn't want to borrow money, money from my family. Yeah. Even I open center, my, 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 my parents, they don't know. I borrow the money from my friend. So luckily, is, uh, my friend also trust me. So I promise today, I say I three months, I will return. But eventually, three months cannot return all the money because no business. So the end, going back to my hometown, so we get a borrow money from my sister and brother. So, so I think this is a I think this is a not concern is a big challenge because I do believe that all the entrepreneurs I think same like me. And how to go to uh, looking for the first funding for start up the business. But I think the most challenge is uh, the when I started on my business, you know, you not have experience because you are first the business. So like example how to do the advertisement, the time not like today, you know, Facebook is easier, social media is easier. So all the time you have to get a flyer to the door to door. So every day, morning, afternoon, morning, evening, you know what I do. It's a crazy job. I morning go to the housing area to distribute the brochure. Evening I go to check whether they have to read my brochure or not. This is a crazy job. Morning go to send, evening go to check. <laughs> go to check whether they get my brochure they already take out or not. I after a year I go to 100 over students because of the result. Because of mother, you know, from mouth to mouth to talk about. Yeah. I have one college friend, classmate. He asked me, Mr. Go, can you uh, help me help me to uh, because her boyfriend is an art teacher, but he, her boyfriend teach one month, then his boyfriend doesn't want to continue. So he asked me, can I can replace her boyfriend because Shaila, he said, want to uh, want to design. He want to looking someone to replace her job. So he asked me, can can get her as a favor to help. I said no problem. Like as long as a part time, you have the, some income. I, I'm okay. After a month, I find my interest is there. I saw the student, the results there. So I just think have focus on the teaching. Uh, so I from Saturday, Sunday, so today because. Two days are uh, not study. So this two days, so I see the student number increase. 
in the one of the music school. So they have art classes over there. So I try to study how to teach well about the, for the student. So I go to buy a lot of the reference, study for study from how to teach. So actually I start from zero. No have the any master or any teacher to guide me how to teach a student. But I think from your heart, I think when you want to do something good, you have to focus on that. So this is how I start. I think uh, for the young entrepreneur, if you want to start up your business, so I think uh, for my advice, for my sharing, um, focus is the first. So you have to focus what you're doing, not the other thing. I know today the world is a lot of the, uh, what they call the uh, attractive, all the time you keep changing. But I still want to mention that focus on what you're doing. And also, um, Always think small, not think big. Because if you think big, you will lose yourself. You have to focus on what you're doing, the small, small thing. So eventually you become big. So, and also with the patience. So you have to do what you do. You have the patience to do what you do. So this is my advice. Of course, hardworking everyone you need. If you want to succeed, you need to hardworking. But hardworking is not enough. You just want to focus what you do. This is my advice.